Hey guys, happy Sunday. I hope you've had awesome weeks and I hope you're excited for songs from Mr. Levi. Let's do it. Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. I'm so excited to see you guys on this amazing Sunday. We're going to do some worship together. We're going to do two songs. The first song we're going to do is called Father Abraham. This one has some dancing hand motions in it, so if you aren't already standing up, go ahead and stand up. This song is so much fun. Uh, and it goes like this. So I know we've done this one before, but I'm going to go through it real quick with you guys. Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. And after we finish that, every time that's going to be over and over again, we're going to sing that. And every time we sing that, we're going to add a body part. So it'll be right arm, Father Abraham, and we're going to march. Okay? And then when we say right arm, left arm, then we're going to do both. And then we're going to say, I'll put this ukulele down. we we'll say right arm, left arm, right foot, and you march with your right foot as you're marching with your arms. Father Abraham, and then we're gonna add our left foot, and then we're gonna nod our head, and then we're gonna turn around and sit down. Do you guys think you can do that? I know you can, you guys are the best. All right, let me get a little guitar pick here. There we go. All right, y'all just sing along, here we go. Father Abraham and many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, Father Abraham, and many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, Father Abraham, and many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham I am one of them, and so are you So let's all praise the Lord Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot Nod your head, Father Abraham And many sons, and many sons had Father Abraham I am one of them, and so are you So let's all praise the Lord Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot, nod your head, turn around, sit down. Good job, guys. Oh, that song's fun. Oh, my goodness. And I love doing all those hand motions. It's so much fun. Guys, in the Bible, you guys know the story about Abraham. Abraham and his wife, Sarah, were really old. Abraham was really, really old, and he didn't have any kids, and he really wanted a kid. He really wanted a kid with his wife, Sarah. And then God said, hey, Abraham, you are going to have a kid someday. And, Ab and Abraham's wife, Sarah, laughed. She's like, oh, there's no way. We're so old. But guess what? When Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 90, they had a baby, and they named him Isaac. They trusted in the Lord that he was going, not only did they trust in the Lord that he was going to take care of them and that they were going, he was going to give them a son someday, but they also trusted in him as creator of the universe. And they believed that he was all powerful and they obeyed. And guys, in the book of Romans, it tells us that we're also called children of Abraham because like Abraham, we have faith in God too. We trust in the Lord. Not only do we trust in God that he's going to take care of us, but we trust in the Lord and we know that when he sent his son Jesus to die for us, that was enough because we should have been the ones to die. We were sinful. We should have died. But Jesus died in our place so that we could have a relationship with God. How amazing is that? Isn't that good news this morning? Oh, I love singing that song. That's some deep theology too, guys. I'm proud of you guys for singing that with me this morning. <clears throat> okay. The next song we're going to sing doesn't have any hand motions in it. It's called How Great Is Our God. But it's got some really great lyrics in it, so we're just going to sing that together this morning. Here we go. There we go. 
the splendor of the king clothed in majesty let all the earth rejoice all the earth rejoice he wraps himself in light darkness tries to hide and trembles at his voice trembles at his voice how great is our god sing with me how great is our god and all will sing how great how great is our god age to age he stands time is in his hands the beginning and the end beginning and the end the god had three Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, Lion and the Lamb. How great is our God! Sing with me, how great is our God! Oh, see how great, how great is our God Name above all names Worthy of all praise And my heart will sing How great is our God above all names, worthy of all praise, and my heart will sing how great is our God. Let's do one more chorus, you guys. Here we go. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God And all will see how great How great is our God One more time guys, come on, that's good How great is our God Sing with me how great is our God Oh, we'll see how great How great Is our God Good singing, you guys! Wow! Oh my goodness! That song is a great reminder of the truth, you guys. Our God is so great he is so so great age to age he stands time is in his hands beginning in the end godhead three in one father spirit son the lion and the lamb guys that's what's so crazy we've talked about this before but guys god is not not only is he all powerful but he has always been he has been there before the beginning, and he'll be there after the end. He created time. He created this earth. He created everything. And guys, that song is true. God is what we call a triune God. He is three persons in one. He is God the Father. He's God the Son, who's Jesus. And he's God the Holy Spirit. Guys, that's true. That's, those are the three persons of God. And that what's amazing is we get to know them the more and more that we grow in our faith and the deeper we dive into God's word, we get to know the triune God even better. 
How cool is that? I'm going to read a, a little bit from Philippians chapter 2, verses 9 through 11. It says, For this reason also God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. We're talking about Jesus. So that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow, and those who are in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And that every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Guys, that's in the Bible. I just read scripture to you guys. He's, it's the name above all names. How, how, how amazing is that? Is that good news? Oh my goodness, it is good news. Uh, thank you guys for singing for singing with me this morning. This morning, I am so proud of you guys for you guys for singing, praising the praising the Lord, Lord, and for obeying, obeying God. I'm mad. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you guys. Sometimes that's hard. If you guys have any questions about anything, talk to your mom and dad. Talk to Pastor Mark. Pastor Mark, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to Miss Tay. We would love to talk to you and answer any questions you have. You have. I learned. One afternoon, Peter and John, two of Jesus' followers, went to the temple to pray. They saw a man sitting by a gate. The man could not walk. Every day, the man's friends carried him to the temple. As people entered the temple, the man asked them for money since he couldn't work. Peter said to the man, look at us. The man looked at Peter and John, expecting them to give him something. Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I will give you what I do have. Then Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Peter reached out and helped the man up. All of a sudden, the man's feet and ankles were strong. He could walk. In fact, the man leaped around. He went into the temple with Peter and John and he praised God. The people in the temple saw that the man was healed and they were amazed. The next day, the religious leaders asked Peter and John, how did you heal this man? By what power or in what name did you do this? Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit. He said, this man was healed by the power of Jesus Christ from Nazareth. You nailed Jesus to a cross, but God raised him from the dead. It is because of him that this man is healed. Peter told the religious leaders that they rejected Jesus because they thought he was not important, but he is the most important one of all. The religious leaders didn't know what to say. They ordered Peter and John to never preach or teach in the name of Jesus again. Peter and John said, do you think it would be right for us to listen to you instead of God? We cannot be quiet. We must tell people about what we have seen and heard. Peter and John met with other believers and prayed that God would give them power to speak boldly and without fear. After Jesus returned to heaven, the Holy Spirit gave the disciples power to begin working. With the power of Jesus' name, Peter healed a man who was lame. Not even the religious leaders could stop Jesus' followers from sharing the good news about Jesus. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Peter healing the man who couldn't walk is such a cool story because it's one of the first times that we get to see what having the Holy Spirit in your heart does for our lives. It gives us the boldness and the courage to walk around and talk about Jesus. I hope this week that you're able to identify ways that you see the Holy Spirit in your life, whether it's talking about Jesus or being honest even when it's hard or being joyful. I hope that you can slow down and just thank God for the Holy Spirit and the power that we have in us because of him. Guys, I hope you have great weeks. See you soon.